In my presentation, essentially, uh, I would I would look at initially as the genomics, uh, the difference between the the three variants of KRAS, and uh, what I've shown essentially that uh, uh, the G12R, which is 15 to 20 percent of the mutated genes, um, they have um, the immunologically different from the other two variants. And this has not been really been explored in the past. So other, I've looked at tumor microenvironment, and I've looked at several, several other genes also involved uh, in immunological. Even we've looked at uh, genes involved in glucose and glutamine metabolism. There are differences. Uh, uh, in this presentation, I, will share, I shall share with the audience um, the patients with uh, G12R presentation who are diabetic, who are getting chemotherapy, they do better uh, than uh, others. So um, there are differences and we're trying to explore them. This is not a therapeutic. This is essentially, the bottom line of this abstract essentially is saying that if you have a mutation like a D, you do poorly by three months. All these patients have been advanced metastatic adenocarcinomas of pancreas, previously untreated, biopsies were obtained, biopsies were sent to the genomic uh, company, and subsequent to that, we looked at social services telling when the patient died. So initiation and uh, at the time of death. So in the worst group, the D group, uh, they live three months less than the, the good group, which is R. So there's a significant difference between two. And uh, the, the group with G12, V for Victor, uh, tend to be in between uh, the, the two. Uh, so by this presentation, I'm hoping that the audience will look at the pancreas cancer completely in a different way. They're not just one disease. They have different prognosis uh, as we treat them now. Um, that's the essence, really.